Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of Kaiju number 8, chapter 93. Alright. Hoshina only has one sword left. And, I mean, to be honest, he's at a damage level that far exceeds what he should really be able to be fighting at. But, you know, that's that manga for you. But anyway, knowing its abilities, it'll adapt to us in our current state, too. We've only got one chance. Numbers Weapon 10, full release. So they've gone to 100%, which is the first time in the series, I'm pretty damn sure. Outside of maybe a flashback, I don't know. 100%. <coughs> Number 10. I'm going to tell you the plan. Read my thoughts. Hmm. <laughs> oh, pretty fun idea coming from a stickler like you. Also, the fact of how it's on his chest and whatnot in this very moment, like how on it. I'm sure it was always this case, but also using the sword and everything, it, it it's coming to mind the Kamui from, um, my god, why can't I remember the title? No. <laughs> One with the scissors. What the hell? And the fibers, and the clothing, and the, why? It'll come to me. If we screw up this time, uh, we're dead for sure. Let's have uh, let's have us uh, some fun. All right, so they're gonna have some fun. Okay, so he's kicking off the ground. Oh my god, it just shatters. What? Oh, I I thought he had flew past the kaiju, but he's right there drawing his blade. Will create a split second opening to shatter its core. Okay, you've he sliced across the chest now. To pull that off, we'll need to. Oh, you're getting in behind him now. <clears throat> He's like, hmm. Hit it with a move it'd never anticipate. Oh, you have other. Oh, those are his normal blades. Okay, so he's got. Oh. He's become fucking Zoro right now. He's got one in each hand and he somehow tied one to his tail. Oh lord. Oh lord. So slices the arm. He gets hit it looks like. A little bit? No. Maybe that was just he was already bleeding. Um, ooh, tail goes for the leg. Okay, we're slowly just whittling his limbs down. I don't think he actually has anything left at this point. And, ooh, they go for a <laughs> slash. Number six. Eightfold slasher. An eightfold slasher with three blades. Though I'm pretty sure even that won't be enough to take it down. Yeah, it just kind of stares at them. The enemy's ad no, the enemy's adapting too far or far too fast, but it's a necessary step to expose the core. We'll need an even greater element of surprise, a greater unknown factor. <clears throat> Are you gonna throw the sword? <laughs> Good lord, it is fully. What is up with these extra limbs coming out? I don't remember. Oh, wait, that's part of its adapting, right? So it's gaining more limbs, I guess, so it'll do that. This will seal the deal. Number seven. Okay. A new technique? What? <coughs> this has never uh, been anything more than an armchair theory. But if you've got... But if I've got you, number ten... In forward release mode, then I can make it happen. A super high speed 12 hit. Oh my. His body's gonna fucking blow up. He doesn't have pupils anymore. Focused assault on one area. <clears throat> Hoshina style sword slay technique number 7. 12 layered strike. I'm guessing each blade hits three times? And then it's just going, he's just counting the slashes. I'm not going to read those numbers. Um, okay, wait. 
Are we getting closer? There's his core. It's in his neck. And, and oh god, he blocked it at the last fucking second. No. Even after all that, he still can't take it now. Kaiju. But I win. Oh my god, the tail severed itself to attack. In the end, it looks like being a go-between is just in my nature. In <coughs> uh, one of the cracks for the joints of the tail is the eye. So, is this going to be a thing that they can do? So, he flips and hits it from behind. I love that. That is that is some kind of teamwork. Dismember yourself to win. Um, very weird, but hey, I'll go for it. Because um, it seems like they can probably repair him, and as long as he's alive, he's fine. So, yeah, I'm sure the numbers have been dis destroyed and damaged before. I mean, as long as they're not totally annihilated, I think they're fine. But, I don't know. We don't have much precedent for that. If at all. But, yeah, I, I could definitely see, like, when they adapt it or fix it as it goes forward. Uh, the tail has a blade on the end of it by, like, default now. <clears throat> Because then they can use more three sword styles and that would just, I mean, good lord, they're going to give Zoro a run for his money. Zoro ain't fighting no giant monsters. So this, that going to, mm, <laughs> you want to be the greatest swordsman in the world? Well, guess what? You're going to have to grow a tail, Zoro. Because the mouth ain't cutting it no more. Um, and he's just going to like, Oh no, fuck your! I can't really talk with my hand in my mouth, but I didn't have anything else to do, Zoro. But anyway, um, so yes, three sword style, unexpected, definitely, and the fact that the final move, oh, I love that. <coughs> I do hope ten can be fully repaired, if not modified in such a way where it. It makes them more adept for this kind of combat that they're foreseeing. Like maybe the tail becomes detachable so that he can maybe become like a snake or launch himself to do these kind of counter attacks if Hoshina gets blocked again. Things like that. That would be cool. And also give him a blade at the end of the tail. I mean, he kind of had one when the tail was first there. But, like, officially one of, like, Hoshina Family Blades or something. Like, that would be cool. <clears throat> uh, or Hoshina Family Style Blades. Because, I mean, obviously the sword probably wouldn't have to be horribly modified to create any chance of fighting a regular kaiju. Um, but, yeah. Alright. They killed the bastard. That's about all I have to say about the chapter. I mean, it was pretty straightforward. I like the teamwork, the the un like him going by the books, but also throwing in elements of, you know, unusual actions. I think is going to be what Hoshina does going forward. It's going to be where he can start bridging the gap between him and his brother. So, and then maybe his family will respect him or whatever <laughs> we don't fully get all of what happened and is he did he join the defense force because of the whole they hate him for whatever happened to their heir but then he would become the heir so i don't really get some of their family drama but <clears throat> maybe i'm just forgetting but anyway let me know your own thoughts and opinions. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. I stream on YouTube, because Twitch ain't doing nothing for me anymore. Um, and I'm part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channels. So go check that out. 
Also, I I forgot because I added that ass a little bit. I'll tweet it out. I know I'm using. St well, uh, that's not Twitch. Never mind. X. <laughs> I'll post on X when I go live. But yeah, uh, part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel. Go check that out. And as always, later days. And until next time, Keishlings. I don't want to bite my hand again. It's weird.